And what I'm going to show here is how to use uh, the highlight effect. So the first thing I'm going to show is uh, in the node view here, we've got uh, a peg and the character in a group. If you open up the group, you can see all his little bits and pieces, all his bones and uh, his art layers. Hop out of that. I'm going to show you how to get the highlight in there. Now. So we go into the node library, and there's actually a handy little search bar here. So I'm going to type in highlight, and it's right here. And what I'll do is I'll drag that into the node view. And just like a cutter tool and a few other tools, or pardon me, cutter uh, effect and a few other effects, there are, um, this requires both a image and a mat to work. So I'll show you here how to attach it to your system. There are two main ways. You can unhook your uh, group from the composite, hook it up to the image node or image port, and then hook up this port to the composite. And you can see it shows back up again. Uh, there's a slightly easier way, and that is to hold, click and hold on the node that you want to add. Hold Alt, and you'll see a little connector symbol show up. Drag it to the line to, until it connects, and let go of your mouse. And you'll see that it is now connected into the system. Now for a mat, since I want to have kind of a highlight shot, highlight uh, around the character, I'm going to go ahead and clone the dog group. And I'll do that by going up to the nodes drop down and selecting drawing and timing. That way it'll match up. Whatever, I, whatever this does, this will also do. That way if I'm animating my character, the highlight will follow. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the matte side. And you can see that the character's now kind of changed colors because it is now being highlighted. And because it's actually the same exact position as the regular image, it, the whole thing is highlighting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a peg by selecting the master, the new master, and hitting Control P. That automatically generates a peg. I'm going to go ahead and connect that to my scene peg. That way if I do move the character or roll, everything will move with it and together. So in our master here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... Uh, actually, what I'll do first is show you what's going on in the uh, render view. And you can see that my character is entirely highlighted. What I'm going to do is select the peg for the mat. I'm going to drag it a little bit. And you can see that now part of the character is unshaded. And it's kind of the opposite of what I wanted to do. So to change that, I'll go into the highlight properties and I'm going to invert the mat. And now you can see that there is a kind of a dim highlight. One of the things I can change in the parameters here is the intensity. I'm going to go ahead and raise that up a little bit. There we go. Now you can see our character is clearly highlighted. Hard to see is a black line, so I'll go ahead and add a color add a color card here so we can see the character a little bit better. This basically adds a, uh, well, it says it adds a background color to your uh, render view, and to any view, really, in the camera tab. So there we go. It's a little bright. Turn that down a bit. There we go. All right. So now you can clearly see our highlight is working. And you can actually, if you want to, change the color of that highlight. Right now, I'm going to up the opacity. Now it's bright, super bright. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, let's say we want it to be, let's say it's a sunset. So you'd kind of turn it a golden color here. We can actually turn the opacity down just a little bit. There we go. And so now our character, let's darken this a little bit here. Just a wee bit. There we go. Now you can see we kind of have a sunset glow to our character. And uh, another thing you can change here is the radius, which basically shows how far that blurring light is going to go. 
the higher the radius, the more dispersed the light's going to be and the farther it'll go. Um, another thing you can do is you can use the matte color, which is basically the color of the character itself. And that'll create kind of a weird effect around the character. It's more useful in glow than it is here, at least in this situation. You can also uh, inverse the matte in this case, so the whole character is just glowing. And that's pretty much how you use the highlight effect.